a lot of us tend to use the sun as a key light, which isn't always a good idea. On a clear and sunny day like it is right now, you can see in my face that I'm gonna have a lot of shadows under my eyes and under my chin, and I'm also gonna be squinting because the sunlight is just so powerful. And that's the same thing that's gonna happen to our model here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a shot, I'm gonna expose for uh, F8, uh, 160 of shutter speed. So I'm gonna take a quick shot right now just to see how that looks. So you see her chin is sending a very distinct line going down her neck, casting that shadow, which we want to get away from. And also her hair and underneath her eyes. So what we want to do is we want to still keep the sun and maintain the sun as our, as our main key light, but we have to diffuse it. Now the way we do it is we use this, thank you, use this uh, one in five reflector. When you open this guy up, you'll see you have a translucent uh, diffusion inside of it. So that's pretty much what we're going to use for our subject. So we're going to go ahead and put this right over her face. And what it's gonna do is gonna diffuse our key light, which is the sun, so that way the shadows under her chin aren't as harsh. We're gonna look for the sun's direction and it's pretty much coming in at an angle. So we're pretty much gonna hold this at that same angle here. You wanna shoot this pretty quick because the person holding the reflector is gonna get tired pretty fast. But we'll go ahead and take our first shot. This is using the same exact exposure. Now we completely knocked down the power from the sun. So we're gonna go ahead and bring our f-stop down to 5.6. The translucent diffuser diffused the sunlight enough so we don't have those sharp lines under her chin anymore. So we're holding up the translucent diffuser. I'm gonna take a few more shots. Good, hold it there. Now, since we're using a 70 to 200, and I'm all the way pretty much at 200, uh, you get a really nice bouquet in the back. But, to me, she still doesn't pop out enough, uh, as much as I want it to be. So we're gonna go ahead and add a light source. Now the light source we're gonna add is gonna be a speed light. We're gonna put it behind her so we can give her a nice hair light that'll distinguish her from the background. We always want to make sure we put it off uh, the camera's uh, point of view. So I usually have it off to the left or to the right, depending on what way she's facing. So she's pretty much been facing towards the left side of the camera. We're going to make sure it's going to be on the right. We're going to start it at a uh, one over eight power. So we're going to go ahead and take a shot. Bring it up just a little bit. There you go. Now you can see the backlight hitting her hair and her shoulder, giving her a three-dimensional look. Without this backlight, it really looks a bit dull to me. Uh, with that backlight, it really makes her pop and gives her more of a defined edge. So we're gonna take a few more shots using just the translucent diffuser and the backlight. As you can see, the difference between the first image difference between the second image, just adding that diffuser and then adding in that backlight really changes the dynamic of what this picture is now. So we're shooting some three quarters as well, but be careful of going too low because once you go too low, you'll start seeing the sun creeping in. So you wanna make sure you crop nice and tight unless you have a bigger diffuser, which you can cover up the entire body. So just to sum up, we're only using one speed light and one diffuser. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna turn her around and have the sun become the backlight. So let's see how that works out for us. All right guys, so now that we use the sun as the key light, we're gonna use it as a backlight. So we're gonna go ahead and turn her around and have the sun lighting up the back of her hair and her shoulders. What we're gonna do is we're gonna need a, a key light now and we're gonna be using the Octabox. Now I like using the Octabox because it gives you a really nice soft look, uh, especially with the flash, not giving you a harsh shadow underneath the chin or the eyes, or even under the nose. The Octabox also gives you a really nice circle catch light uh, in the top of the eye, depending on where you put it. So what we're gonna do is turn around facing this way, touch me, yes. We're gonna set up the Octabox right in front of her. Always using a sandbag, of course. So we're gonna try it without the diffuser at first, just to see how it looks. So right now the power for the speed light is one over 32. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot. Uh, shutter speed is still the same, 160. F-stop is five, and my ISO is 100. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up the speed light to one over four, so you can bring up the key light from her face and still maintain that sun's backlight. Nice, so you can see now her face is a lot brighter. Now, we're not getting deep, deep shadows, so I really like this look. I'm gonna move it just a little more center. So I'm gonna bring my f-stop down to f8. And bring my speed light to full power. We have something happening here where we have the key light giving us a really nice soft source on the right side of our face, the backlight from the sun, but then we're missing that fill light. So we're gonna go ahead and add a light source now to that side by using this disc. And the power on this disc is gonna be a lot softer than the key light, because it's just to fill in. We're just filling in those shadows. Try eight. Okay, you ready? Now in this shot, you can see we filled in that shadow that we were missing and we have a pretty even light source happening right here. I really like this shot. The lighting on this is perfect to me. I can continue shooting and, uh, and wrap from here. I mean, it's a pretty simple setup. My key light is at one fourth power and my fill light is at one eighth power and the sun is at full power. So we're gonna go ahead and take some more shots. So what I'm trying to do here by going just a little bit lower is trying to minimize the, the dirt. I'm trying to just get the sky in the river at this point. Move that hair, move that hair, there you go. Bring one of your shoulders more forward than the other and turn towards me. Very nice. I would love to see this as a better background, but here, you can more or less see what. Okay. Ooh, my hair is looking crazy, but it looks really nice. Love it. I love it. See what we did with one Octabox without the diffuser, because we didn't need it. If you would have had the diffuser on it at one over one, it would have been uh, too soft, not enough to overpower the sun's backlight, and we wouldn't have got those kind of images, really soft look. Now we're gonna to go to another location so we can use the diffuser somewhere maybe underneath a tree or somewhere that has more shade, but you still see a lot of sunlight around and ambient light around, so we have to properly expose for that. 